Greetings fellow pilots of the pixelated universe. Today, we're exploring the depths of Star Force, a vertical scrolling shooter adapted to the NES by Tecmo from its arcade roots. Prepare to pilot the final star through galaxies teeming with foes. Gameplay 2.8 out of 5. Star Force is a straightforward shoot em up, but it lacks the depth and variety seen in other titles of its era. The game offers a consistent challenge but can become monotonous due to its repetitive enemy patterns. Controls and user interface 2.9 out of 5. While controls are reasonably responsive, they don't bring anything unique to the table. The user interface is basic, doing little more than showing essential metrics. Visual elements 2.6 out of 5. The graphics in Star Force are relatively plain, especially when compared to other NES games. Enemy designs are rudimentary, and the backgrounds, though varied, can seem uninspired. Audio elements 2.5 out of 5. The game's soundtrack is largely forgettable and can become grating over time. Sound effects are generic and don't add much to the overall experience. Replay value 2.3 out of 5. Beyond chasing high scores, there's little incentive to return to Star Force. The lack of varied gameplay elements might not hold the attention of players for long. Overall score 2.6 out of 5. Star Force serves as an example of early shoot em up titles on the NES. While it's a nod to arcade classics, it struggles to deliver a compelling experience when compared to other NES offerings. While Star Force has its place in the early days of console shooters, it's overshadowed by more dynamic and engaging titles in the NES library. Intrepid explorers, we've ventured through the galactic realms of Star Force. Was your journey among the stars a thrilling one, or did it leave you grounded? Share your perspectives below. If this retro reconnaissance resonated with you, hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, may your gaming quest be ever rewarded.